It's time to talk about the 2022 Pro Duo Alza again. My name is Ayman Abdullah, this is Mason Motoring, and we're going to take a very quick walk through all of the teasers that we've got so far and see all the information and compile as much as we can about the new Alza prior to launch. So before we get to the teasers themselves, which Produa has put out several videos, we need to give you a little bit of background on the Alza for those who might be a little bit uninitiated. Now, the Produa Alza has been around for about 12, 13 years at this point and is long overdue for a replacement. And so about five years ago, if I'm not mistaken, Produa together with Daihatsu and Toyota started working on a B-segment three-row seven-seater MPV for emerging markets such as Southeast Asia. And so together, the three of them came up with three different products, the Toyota Avanza and therefore the Veloz, the Daihatsu Xenia and for us, the Produa Alza. Now the Alza name is being retained for the seven-seater because in the last decade plus or so, the Alza name has become a brand in and of itself, something that's very recognizable to Malaysians and is synonymous with versatility and practicality. And so Produa has decided to continue that nameplate on for the second generation. Now codenamed the D27A, the new Alza aims to provide more versatility and more practicality than ever before. Now because the Alza is known for reliability, they've decided to keep to a method and to a recipe that they're familiar with. So the new Alza, which again will be a sister car of the Toyota Avanza and the Daihatsu Xenia, will be a little bit larger, a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and it'll pack a lot more features, but critically, the powertrain will remain relatively similar. There will be a 1.5 litre dual VVTi engine up front shared with the Prodoa Arrows as well as the Prodoa Myvi paired to a DCVT automatic gearbox. Now, according to Prodoa's releases, this combination should allow the car to be able to do up to 22 kilometers per litre, I guess. Um, and it also means that this should be an EEV certifiable vehicle given that this is already an EEV certifiable engine. On top of that, the new Alza should be able to offer Eco Idle given the fact that that uh, start top system has already been bundled into the Prodoa Arrows as well as the Prodoa Myvi, among many other Prodoa products. Now, within that flyer, there were several features that were talked about, including things like an electronic parking brake as well as the spacious cabin and 360 degree camera. These are all, of course, new things for the Alza. Now, Prodoa has actually released full details of this car in terms of specification as well as pricing. Now, we do know that the new Alza will be available as an XH and AV with the base variant coming with LED headlights, electrically adjustable side mirrors, LED signals, fabric seats, uh, front digital air conditioners like what you get on the MyV and rear manual air conditioners as well as ASA, most likely to be ASA 3.0, which includes things like autonomous emergency braking. Now, the H mid-spec model will give you drive modes to select from, those being eco, normal and power, we'll get to that a little bit later. Automatic headlights, adaptive driving beam LEDs, which is what you get on the AV uh, Prodoa Ativa, as well as sequential turn signals, which people seem to like. Automatically retractable wing mirrors, rear armrest, a 7-inch multi-info display and a 9-inch touchscreen head unit with reversing camera and parking sensors. Now, the range topping AV will get things like a two-tone semi-leather uh, upholstery, like what we got in the Prodo uh, Ativa, as well as what we get in the current generation MyV, as well as an electronic parking brake with auto brake hold and a 360 degree camera. Now, of course, being the AV model, this will also get Prodo Smart Drive Assist, that whole umbrella of uh, safety features, which will include things like adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross traffic alert. There is also mention of rear disc brakes in the press release of this car which means that it should have greater stopping power than the previous generation Alza and of course there will be more airbags in the current generation Alza which only has two and so the next generation model should offer between four and six although we'll have to see just how many airbags this car comes with after it launches. Now, the new Alza will be available in five colours, those being glittering silver and ivory white. Those are sort of carryover colours from the existing catalogue of colours. And the new colours include things like vintage brown, garnet red and elegant black. Now, some photos have already been leaked out of 
the factory and have been circulating on social media. And so we have a rough understanding of what these colors are going to look like and also a rough understanding of what the car will look like in full. Although we'll get to that a little bit later as we move on to the teasers. Now, of course, all cars will come with a standard five year or 150,000 kilometer warranty because such is the Prodoa way. Prices will start on the road without insurance at 62,000 ringgit for the X, 68,000 ringgit for the H, and 75,000 ringgit for the AV. Of course, these are merely tentative numbers based on a recommended customer retail price list that has been circulating also on social media. So we understand roughly how much this car is going to cost, and we certainly hope that Prodoa can pull a cat out of the bag and maybe offer it a bit cheaper. Now, on to the teasers. So, the very first teaser that was released by Prodoa on the 24th of June uh, meant to emphasize the fact the car is available, available for booking and more importantly that it comes with a certain degree of technology. They showed things like the drive mode as well as the various uh, ASA 3.0 and PSDA systems such as the lane keep assist, uh, the adaptive cruise control as well as the ability to set the distance and so on. Now, Instead of a power button that you got in the Ativa as well as the Prodoa MyV, instead that button has been replaced with Drive. Now this allows drivers in H and AV models to select between Eco, Normal and Sport. Now we're made to understand that this will be broadly like what we've seen before and so it'll just change things like engine and throttle mapping. Um, but we are made to understand that this may also have some sort of effect on the steering weight this time around as well. As we know, modern Prodoa vehicles all use electric power steering, which means that it's very easy to manipulate the amount of weight through that steering wheel, which means that there should be an ability for them to do that without much faff either. Now, when we move on to the second video teaser, which was released on the 25th of June, now this was a bit more interesting for consumers because Prodoa offered the very first glimpse of the exterior of the new Alza. Now in the first teaser, we saw that the interior had a red and black sort of upholstery design, but that the red was a little bit darker than what we saw on both the Ativa as well as the Myvi, which means that it should have a slightly more muted interior compared to the very bright red and black interior that we get in the Myvi. But moving on to the second teaser, this is where Prodoa finally showed the exterior. We finally saw the vintage brown and we got a glimpse of what the front end looks like, including the very intricate, at least for Prodoa, grille with its little black pins as well as the full width chrome strip on the AV model but more importantly was the camera button which is now also on the steering wheel on the left side. Now in the AV model that managed to trigger the 360 degree camera which is a first for Prodoa sort of like an around view monitor that you get in uh, Toyota. <coughs> um, and from what we can see it's not the best stitching in the world but there's no doubt that for a lot of buyers of this car, they will appreciate the ability to navigate through tight spaces and park in tight spaces with a little bit more confidence than before, thanks to this system. Now, the fact that it's being displayed on a 9-inch infotainment system, uh, the screen which sort of floats on top of the dash in a dash architecture that looks broadly similar to what we saw in the Ativa, but most importantly, even though this is of a similar size to the unit that we saw in the Ativa, the design of the unit is very different, which means that we're made to understand this is a different head unit. Now, speaking specifically about the head unit, there was some speculation that the new Prodoa Alza will be the first Prodoa to offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, we still think that is the case, but for whatever reason, Prodoa is not yet releasing this particular detail. I suspect that it is because this will be a major step for a local car maker, given the fact that Proton still doesn't offer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and they've only just added Spotify to Echo Tech. So, as far as we're concerned, this would be a big deal for the Alza and perhaps they're playing their cards a little bit closer to their chest with this particular detail. Maybe they'll release it in the coming days. Now onto the third teaser, this is the matter of practicality. Now this is where we got to see a little bit more of the Alza's interior as they wanted to show off the 232 seat configuration that as we would expect to find in an Alza. Now because they wanted to show off the interior, that meant that we got to see a little bit more of the seats. So that gave us another sight of the red inserts on the upholstery as well as things like a quilted leather design on the second row. 
and naturally the first row as a result. We're not quite sure about the third row because we didn't really see much of that. Now, we notice that this quilting sort of thing, we've seen this on Gear Up package seat covers before, but not yet on a standard model. And so this is quite impressive for Prodoa to do. Uh, we're not necessarily sure if you're aware, but having this sort of very intricate um, stitching pattern on seats and upholstery is quite costly and so for Prodo to be able to offer this on a base model or rather as standard on an AV model rather than on a price increase or a optional extra as a gear up package and so on does tell us that Prodo has spent quite a bit of money on this car no doubt as a result of the cost benefits um, from developing this car together with Toyota and Daihatsu <clears throat> now moving on to the fourth teaser video which is something that I find quite um, interesting. We have to talk about the electronic parking brake. Now this is new for Pro Dua. Now having an electronic parking brake does mean that it frees up more space in the centre console but more importantly it also means that you can offer things like auto hold. Now auto hold is a function that I find very useful because in traffic jams and traffic lights for example I no longer have to keep my foot on the brake when the car comes to a halt. As long as the hold logo shows up on the instrument cluster, I know that the vehicle will hold its position until I tap the accelerator and then the electronic parking brake will release. Now, this is, as I said, a first for Pro Dua. It They say that this is now stop or go at your convenience. Now, the reason, the other reason I bring this up is because ASA 3.0 and Pro Dua Smart Drive Assist has previously only been able to bring the car to speeds between 30 and 130 kilometers an hour, if I recall correctly. Um, but basically, it can't drive itself through traffic because Prodoa said that there were hardware limitations with the vehicle being able to drive itself through traffic jams. Now, at the time, they said that you need a radar in order to drive through a traffic jam through low speed maneuvers. But we know that that's not true because companies like Volvo, for example, as well as other Geely brands do not need the use of a radar in order to facilitate low speed or traffic jam style adaptive cruise control. Now, given the fact that Prodoa Smart Drive Assist and ASA or Advanced Driver Assist, uh, Advanced Safety Assist rather, have made incremental changes with every introduction onto a new car, plus the fact that this new Alza is being offered with electronic parking brake for the first time, we have a sneaking suspicion that perhaps this model may be able to drive itself through traffic jams if maybe just for the AV model. This would be a game changer for Prodoa as at the moment only the Proton X50 I believe is the most affordable vehicle currently on the market to be able to offer traffic jam assistance. And given the fact that the majority of Prodoa Alza spend their time in town, well, this would certainly make life a lot easier. Now, the fifth teaser video, which is our second last video, <clears throat> is a very interesting one on the account that it goes through very specific details of the exterior. We've seen th things with this teaser like the headlights, the taillights, the wheel design, as well as the rim design. Now, talking about the headlights and taillights, it's worth noting that the headlights themselves are of a unique design. They are not shared with what's seen on the Daihatsu Xenia or the Toyota Avanza or the Toyota Avanza Veloz, which leads us to believe that compared to the other two models which do not offer adaptive driving beam, this is what lends credence that this model will have adaptive driving beam, a system that they copped off of the Ativa thanks to these unique headlight designs. Now, while the car will come with an LED light guide on the top for positioning lights, unfortunately, this car will not come with LED daytime running lights as standard. That was a feature first seen on the face-sifted Prodoa Myvi, but it seems that it will not continue into the Alza. If you want LED daytime running lights, you will most likely have to get a gear up body kit, which will most probably be hideous. Now, in terms of the other of the rest of the design, you can also see the alloy wheels. Now we're made to understand that in Indonesia, the Avanza and Xenia get 16-inch alloy wheels, whereas the Malaysian version of the Toyota Veloz, which is also being built by Prodoa, will get 17-inch alloy wheels. As such, we believe that the new Alza will also get 16-inch alloy wheels, and based on the design, they look like a diamond cut finish with a gloss black insert, which should certainly make the car look a little bit more spiffy. Now, talking about the grill, which is something that I'm very interested in, um, there are pins along the grill. Now, we first saw a rendering by 
sort of CGI manipulator Theophilus Chin, which offered us a glimpse of a Prodoa Alza D27A with a grill that looked broadly similar to what you get with Mercedes Benzes with chrome pins and that sort of galaxy sort of design. Now, we first thought that to be a flight of fancy, and certainly it seems that they're not going to be chrome, so I guess to some extent it was. But this design of grill with the gloss black pins is unique. We haven't seen this before from Prodoa. It is debuting on the Alza. Perhaps it will proliferate to other models for facelifts and so on, but we have no doubt that this certainly looks very upmarket. And we give it about three weeks before somebody from a accessory store decides to come up with a chrome pin package where you'll be able to 3M sticker chrome onto these pins and make your car look a little bit upmarket and then eventually one will fall off and fall into your radiator but there is certainly space for personalization. Now, the sixth teaser. I understand that we've gone on for quite a bit here, but we have to cover everything. Now, this is the final teaser at the time of filming because it's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. Now, this talks about the drive modes, which is selectable via the drive button as we saw earlier. Now, we have Eco, Normal and Power mode which again should speak to the way the vehicle's engine, throttle and perhaps even steering is mapped. The steering may get heavier based on the mode, the throttle may get a bit punchier or a bit more attentive based on the modes, but no doubt that this will work the same way that it does in the Ativa and the Myvi, in which case power mode will be very useful for when overtaking or when climbing up hills or in fact for spirited driving. In the meantime, normal mode will be very good for city driving where you have the most responsive engine um, with a reasonable amount of output uh, based on throttle input whereas eco mode according to Prodoa is best used on the motorway. We don't necessarily believe that because uh, you'd want normal mode on the motorway because you don't want your car to be slow but never mind. In any case we have no doubt that with the car in eco mode and perhaps with the adaptive cruise control on you may be get able to get pretty close to that 22 km per litre claim that Prodoa is putting out there but I guess that remains to be seen. Now, in terms of the information that we're not allowed to tell you, we can say that Prodoa is very, very close to launching this model. Based on previous experience, Prodoa only really opens the booking orders for new models about two to three weeks ahead of launch. Now, this has so far been about a week and a half since the first teaser came out and since the first spec list came out and since the order books were opened which means we've no doubt that this car is on the very cusp of launch now if you ask us directly unfortunately we can also confirm to you that we have not received an invitation for a launch which means we couldn't tell you the date even if we wanted to so please stop asking because believe me we want to tell you but we really really can't now in any case that has been our very quick recap and uh, coverage of the Prodoa Alza and all of its six teasers as of the time of filming. Let us know what you think about this new car in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our new videos. Don't forget to follow us on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe and please place your booking only with authorised sales advisors and only into a company bank account and never a personal account to avoid being swindled. Ciao.